Hi, I'm Nikki Blyle, Dr. Help's lead information developer. Welcome to the Dr. Help video training series. Today, I'm going to discuss editing cascading style sheets in Dr. Help. If you are authoring your content in Dr. Help's built-in editor, Dr. Help uses cascading style sheets to transform your content into several types of online help and EPUB. Cascading style sheets control the body of your help targets, the skin, the headers, buttons, icons, and more, are controlled by the theme. Please note that if you author in Microsoft Word, you customize styles by editing templates. In this lesson, we'll only discuss editing cascading style sheets. It's easy to edit the cascading style sheets included with Doc to help to match a corporate standard or create a custom look for any or all of your outputs. Doc to help uses two cascading style sheets that work together to transform your outputs, the source and the target CSS. The source CSS contains styles you apply to your content. When you build your outputs, the target CSS transforms those styles so that your targets, whether they are online help or EPUB, look and behave the way you desire. Source.css is applied to source documents. HTML.css transforms your content into online help and EPUB. To start editing, Click the Source CSS drop-down, then choose Edit CSS. Now let's edit. In the Style list, select the style you want to edit and click the Modify button. Use the Style Formatting dialog to make your changes. You can change the font, the font size, and more. The edits you make will be inherited by the target CSS, HTML.CSS. So editing one CSS will take care of your online help and EPUB targets. To create a new style, click the New Style button. Give your style a name and select your font, font size, and any other options you'd like. Your new style will be added to the list. Now you can apply this new style to your source documents. Now build your project. We'll build NetHelp. The second level heading has been changed. You may be wondering where your customized CSSs are stored. They can be found in your project directory in the folder named CSS files. You can use your customized CSS files in any project you wish. While we are discussing customized CSS files, I'll note that you can create unique target CSSs, for example, for your EPUBs, if you wish. Once you have created your unique target CSS, you can edit it as you like. By the way, if you would like to change the look of your manual outputs, edit the target template instead of the target CSS. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for joining me for this lesson of the Doc to Help video training series. If you'd like to learn more about working with Doc to Help, go to doctohelp.com to download your free trial and check out the training options, free webcasts, videos, tutorials, documentation, and blog posts. You are set up for success with Doc to Help. I'm Nikki Blyle. Thank you for watching and thanks for choosing Component 1.